Hi, today we're going to do an unboxing of the Christian Louboutin uh, shoes Pigal uh, Plateau 120 Payton. So it comes in this beautiful brown bag, paper bag, inside is red. And um, we have these handles that are very soft, kind of like cotton. -y. And here's the beautiful box. Um, it looks like it is a recycle, made of recycled material, which is very good. Let's go around. So as mentioned, these are the Pigal Plateau 120 pattern calf uh, leather, uh, size 40.5, which is a 7.5 UK size. Uh, why I chose this size is because these shoes actually come a bit small. I'm actually a size six. UK and usually wear a seven when I wear heels because it's more comfortable. But um, for this type of shoe, I actually had to go a size up because they do come a little bit small. Okay, so let's get on to the good stuff unboxing and seeing our goodies. So it comes in this paper mache that just covers and it unveils. It's beautiful red. So you get this card which is where the receipt comes into. Obviously, I took the receipt out. So it shows that it's an authentic when you bought it. So it also comes with this pouch. Very cute little pouch. Love the color. And in there is where they keep the spare heel tip. That's why I call it one of the official names for it. But these are the spare that they put in there. They're quite stern, shiny. It also includes two pouches for your shoes, for the shoes itself. Usually it comes with one, but when I went to the store, I looked in the box and there was only one and I asked the salesperson if they can give me a second one. They were quite nice and they gave me a second one. So it comes with a pouch just to keep your, obviously your shoes. You've paid a lot of money for them. So it's just to protect them, keep the dust away and just to protect them for you to keep them uh, as new as you bought them. Okay, so this is the pouch that it comes in. Very strong red, obviously the iconic color. I mean, with one pouch, you could put two shoes in there, but I was greedy, I wanted two. So that's one, and that's the second one. Well, now to the good stuff. Let's check out the shoes. My lovely Pigel. And they're beautiful. They are so shiny. When I tried them in the store, they were just shiny. And I love that about them. They come with a little platform. And they're not too high, they're like 120. They are so comfortable. In the store, you will try them on the carpet. But obviously when I wore them at home, I have flooring, so you can see you can already get little scrubs coming through scratches underneath the sole. But you can also protect them. So this is a different video for that. But yeah, so that's the iconic red sole. So that's the second pair. So you can see the label. So as you can see the iconic red sole uh, with the logo on it, which is Christian Louboutin, made in Italy, and obviously the size of the shoe. 
Um, yeah, that's just you should have some authentic Christian and beauty that you're buying. Yeah, these shoes are very beautiful um, and they're actually quite comfortable if obviously I decide that I've bought them. I would recommend that you try them on before you buy them. I know you can buy them online, but it's good to actually try them on in the store first and then you can buy them online just to make sure that you have the right size because you're not going to pay that price and not be able to wear your shoe. So when I buy shoes, I want to make sure that I can wear them and walk in them. Okay, so uh, just excuse the fingerprint. It looks like these are fingerprint prone, so as soon as you touch them, you can see. Although I just creamed my hands, you can see some of the oil coming through, so it's not as shiny. I'll try to clean them later on. So just taking some of the packaging away. And just show you how it fits into the pouch. So like mentioned before, they're quite large, so I'm sure they would fit too. Just put that in there. See, that's one. Fits quite well. That's it, we draw the string. And voila! Keep them nice and protected and secure. And uh, let me show you if you only had one pouch. If you did buy it and they only gave you one pouch, how the two will fit in one. So this one's facing this way, so obviously I'm gonna put the other one on this side. Just like so. And as you can see, the bag is big enough actually to fit two shoe in one pouch. But if you have a nice salesperson, you can ask them to give you a second pouch. Makes it a bit easier to push in the box. So the inside is actually obviously made of leather. And this part here is actually quite soft. So um, basically you won't have to put an insole into it. Well, I felt like I didn't have to put an insole into it because it's quite soft and gives me the support and the cushion that I require for my uh, foot. Um, here at the back here, it's kind of like velvety, quite soft, also still leather, but it's more like a velvety soft, so it helps from the, for the back. Uh, my shoe, when I wear it, because my toes are quite small, I don't have so much of the uh, toe cleavage that shows up. Well, some people do like that, but I think you can get that from DVL for on my foot. It doesn't give me so much uh, cleavage in terms of that. Um, also, when I went to the store, the gentleman did say that um, they might stop making the 120 in the Pigar Plateau. So I'm not too sure if you can still get them, but if you really like this shoe, I will say that you buy them soon because they are going to discontinue them soon. And I think they're just going to do the 100, which is obviously shorter than this one. I like this because I like this high because obviously it elongates your, uh, your legs. But also you can wear it day, also night, as casual and also dressy. You can wear it on, um, on jeans. And uh, if you're having a more formal wear, office wear, you can wear it also for that. And obviously for party. I wanted a shoe that was quite versatile and uh, that I could um, wear on different outfits. And I feel like this fits that mode. And it has a classy point, which I think is a classic shoe. So if you are going to buy a shoes for investment purpose, I would say buy something that's classic, so then you can reset it. So this was the unboxing of the Christian Louboutin um, Pigalle Plato 120 Payton. 
If you have liked this video, please press like and don't forget to share it. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Yeah. Uh -huh.